Located in this tiny hamlet in Elgin, Scotland, has brought a fever pitch of discovery of a 150-year-old manuscript supposedly written by the enigmatic Sir James Hawkins of Treasure Island book fame. Nestled along the cliffs overlooking the English Channel sits the Hawkins estate. It was built by Sir James in the late 1890s after his triumphant return with hundreds of thousands of pounds of gold from Treasure Island. Since that time, it has been home to three generations of Hawkins, all of whom were unaware of another treasure left by him lying within its walls. Actually, it was a complete surprise. We were moving furniture out of my great-grandfather's bedroom and found that beneath his bed was a locked trap door. that he used it as a study where he used to write, uh, but we found that it also contained all sorts of memorabilia, both nautical and of a personal nature. The most astounding item we found was a manuscript left by Sir James, written in his own hand. It describes a second adventure where he went back to Treasure Island about three years after he first went there. Also discovered within this room, within this trunk marked the Hispaniola, are the original journals Sir James kept of his secret second adventure. Well, the confusion seems to be based on the fact that news accounts of the day were, were presumed to be about his adventure as described in the book Treasure Island. You see, we assumed that they were referring to his only trip there. Now, after some research, it's become apparent to us that the news accounts were actually of the second adventure. We're having the manuscript readied for final publication and expect to release the new book within the next few months. We're here at this pub in Elgin to speak with some of the town folk about the exciting treasure that's been recently found. The news of another first-hand account of an adventure to Treasure Island has set this tiny hamlet abuzz. It's all quite amazing then, isn't it? I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> it's all the talk in the pubs here. It's all everybody's speculating about. <laughs> well, well, everybody will have to wait and see, won't they? But I will say this. Long John Silver and a host of others are involved, and most importantly, a treasure unlike any ever discovered. Well, historically speaking, I for one am looking forward to reading it. An original adventure written in the author's own hand is rarely, if ever, found. And if it's anything like his original Treasure Island, it should be quite exciting. I can't wait until it arrives in stores. Imagine all that time and they finally found it! Ah! It's all quite intriguing, isn't it? I wonder if we're going to get a discount. I mean, being that we live here. Hmm? Perhaps the silver lining to this entire tale are millions of fans who have discovered and enjoyed Sir James Hawkins' writings of his first adventure, Treasure Island, will now be able to experience and enjoy this newly discovered tale. People have been asking me what the title of the new book will be. We are keeping it as my great-grandfather named it himself, Return to Treasure Island. So it appears that Sir James Hawkins has reached out from the grave and brought us another exciting adventure, speculated to be more exciting than his first. Reporting from Elgin, Scotland, for Indie TV, I'm Trisha St. George. Thank <music> you.